It's very important that we harvest the tea at the correct time. It O-N, green tea, we don't have any pests or diseases in Australia, so we don't have to use any chemicals to protect the plants. No insecticides, no fungicides. It's a very clean, green product. It's the cool winters that make it very special and the plants can go to rest during the winter. As soon as it's cut off the plant, it gets put in these air-conditioned bins. And then as soon as it leaves the air-conditioned bin, it gets heat treated and that kills the enzyme which ages it. And it's sealed in bags where all oxygen is removed. It seals in the freshness at every stage. Our cooking bins are unique, but also our processing machines. All our machines come from Japan, so we had to adapt our machines. They're all unique to us. To make sure you're doing it right, you want to be tasting it constantly. We taste it before it gets in the line, and then we taste it at every major processing point. You do that with your five senses, so there's a lot of, a lot of feeling, there's a lot of focus on the aromatic side of tea, a lot of visual, and a lot of smell. That's how you know when it's getting the right consistency. Amino acid is essential for the flavour in green tea. And as a rule of thumb, the higher the amino acid, the better the flavour of the tea. We monitor that there is sufficient amino acid to produce the flavour and to also monitoring the whole growth process. There's, there's quite a lot in it. To be a tea maker, you need a good attention to detail. It's your job to bring the flavour out of that tea. You've got to be a bit proud of it, otherwise, what's the point? Most farmers, they have that connection with, the, with their plants, with their crop. The smell of processing fresh leaf to crude tea is a unique one, and I find myself missing it most winters before we fire the factory up again.